Toro Bugatti had a rule for making his cars. If compatible, it's no longer Bugatti. This is catchy, but it's a pain in the ass for whoever is responsible for the brand now. In this case, it's Matty Rematz. Now, when you have models like the Veyron and the Chiron to surpass and make something incompatible even to them, is a heavy test. Before the Veyron was made, the idea of a car with more than a thousand horsepower and top speed of over 400 km an hour seemed impossible. The technology in the car industry wasn't enough to achieve this. Only aviation and space industries have the systems and the materials to break these limits. So the Veyron was like a private jet for the road. Then came the Chiron and took everything the Veyron achieved to a different level. 1500 horsepower, 1600 newton meters, and technical innovations never used before in a production car made the Bugatti Chiron the pinnacle of passenger cars. And with the Super Sport variant, the Chiron became the first production car to break the 300 miles per hour barrier. Now, the idea behind the new model is to make it eternal. Even after a century from now, every element of this car should still look beautiful. For this reason, they've chosen as an inspiration the invention that even after more than 200 years still impresses with its intricate engineering and beauty. The tourbillon mechanism in watchmaking. The technology that withstood the test of time and still to this day being used for its accuracy and complexity. All the watches that use this mechanism are so valuable, as accurate as ever, and some of them can be so exclusive and very expensive. Bugatti already shares these attributes with these timepieces, so they're going full in and making a tourbillon on wheels and replacing that tradition in the last 20 years of naming their cars on Bugatti's historical drivers. This time, the brand new car is called the Bugatti Tourbillon. Now the core of Bugatti in the last two decades was the W16 engine, the machine that established a new category of sports cars. When it was first used in the Veyron, it made it the first hyper sports car and the amount of power and balance of their engine was something unbelievable. They've kept improving it model after model, but with the Chiron, it was almost entirely redeveloped to achieve a level of power again never seen before in a production car. Now in the Bugatti Tourbillon, the powertrain is totally different. It's a hybrid system that was built from the ground up specifically for this car in collaboration with Cosworth. The combustion engine alone is an engineering masterpiece. They've kept 16 cylinders but this time in a different configuration. Two banks with straight 8 cylinders making a V16 and it's naturally aspirated. This engine can generate a thousand horsepower without the need for any turbos, and this makes it less complex and with the use of light materials, it's significantly lighter than the W16 of the Vero that needed four turbos to produce the same amount of power. Take a listen to the sound of the new V16. It's like a cross between a V8 and the W16. The only thing missing is the whistle of the turbos. Now, loss of turbos mean loss of a lot of power, but the electric system compensates for that. There are two electric motors in the front axle, which they call E axle, and one in the rear axle. They output 800 horsepower. With a combustion engine, this makes the total power 1800 horsepower. This electric system is powered by a 25 kilowatt hour oil cooled 800 volt battery that, apart from the performance enhancement, will allow this Bugatti to go out of character for a range of 60 kilometers. Now, the interesting thing is they managed to make the Bugatti Tourbillon lighter than the Chiron, and that's amazing considering the extra electric components. This shows how extreme the level of engineering at Bugatti is. Now, in terms of the design, the source of inspiration is always going to be Itoro and Jean Bugatti's ideas about how their cars should look. This is another aspect of the concept of eternity. As long as the brand is still around, they will never deviate from this. The design of the Bugatti Tourbillon is built around four design elements inspired from three iconic Bugatti models. 
the way every line originates from the horseshoe grill, just like the most successful racing car in history, the Bugatti Type 35. The letter S in the name of one of the greatest cars in history, the Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic, stands for lowered in French, and with the tourbillon, they're using this feature to serve two functions. It makes the car look wider and the wheels seem bigger. This posture makes it feel like the car is moving at high speed while at standstill. And at the same time, the frontal area of the car is reduced, which helps in aerodynamic performance. The third source of inspiration is the Bugatti Type 41 Royale. The dual tone paint work is now one of the design signatures of Bugatti. The sea line splits the two colors as usual, but it has a sharper curve to fit with the new proportions of the car. Now, with the Bugatti Tourbillon, there is a change in approach for generating downforce. The rear wing used to be the main aerodynamic element that adjusts automatically to control the downforce at different speeds, alongside serving as an air brake when decelerating to balance the downforce on the front wheels. Now, it's only active at low speeds to generate downforce for better cornering and as an air brake. The new diffuser takes the job of generating downforce at high speed, and it's the reason behind the aggressive look of the rear end and add to that the new dihedral doors. The interior is simply the ultimate luxury. The details, the materials, and the analog elements are all made to look beautiful forever, and the one that stands out is the steering wheel with that instrument cluster. It's constructed from titanium with more than 600 parts and adorned with gemstones, just like any high-end tourbillon watch. When Koenigsegg introduced the Yesco with a screen on the steering wheel that keeps all the info leveled, it was something awesome. But in the Bugatti Tourbillon, that concept is on a different level. The whole instrument cluster is fixed with only the steering wheel rim that rotates. Very impressive. Next to this design statement is the new center console, which is made of crystal and aluminum. This car is definitely going to look like a masterpiece centuries from now. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.